In today's video, we are going to study the concept and application of Thevenin's theorem. We are going to learn how to find the VTH, RTH, and the current flowing through a particular resistor. Now, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share this video to all your friends. So, without wasting much time, let's get into today's lesson. So, according to Thevenin's theorem, any linear circuit connected between two terminals can be replaced by a Thevenin's voltage in series with a Thevenin's resistance. So the Thevenin's voltage, that is VTH, is the voltage seen between the two terminals AB. And the Thevenin's resistance, RTH, is the equivalent resistance seen between the two terminals when all the independent sources are deactivated. And we also have RL which is called the load resistance. Now this load resistance is in series with RTH so that the current produced by VTH will be the same current flowing through RTH and then RL. And this RL is also the resistance you want to find the current flowing through. So from this particular circuit, if you want to find the current flowing through the load resistor, then that is given by I equals the voltage divided by the total resistance of the circuit. Now since these two resistors are connected in series, then RT is equal to the sum of these two. Now since we have V to be VTH, we say that I is equal to VTH divided by RTH plus RL. So basically, this is how to find the current flowing through the load resistor. So how do we even arrive at the values of VTH, RTH, and then RL? Now to do so, we are going to use the steps outlined below. So given any linear network connected between two terminals, the first thing we need to do is to remove the resistor, which we want to find the current flowing through, and then mark the terminals. Secondly, we need to find the open circuit voltage, that is VTH, using the Kirchhoff's voltage law. And then thirdly, we want to deactivate all the independent sources and find RTH. So in deactivating the independent sources, we are going to short circuit all voltage sources and then open circuit all current sources. Next, we are going to produce the Thevenin's equivalent circuits reconnecting the load resistor. So this is the Thevenin's equivalent circuit with the load resistor reconnected. And then lastly, we are going to find the current through the load resistor that is using the formula I equals VTH divided by RTH plus RL. So basically, these are the various steps we are going to use to find VTH, RTH, and the current flowing through a particular resistor. Now let's take a few examples. Now let's take the first example. Find VTH, RTH, and the current flowing through the 3 ohms resistor in the circuit below. So for this circuit, we have two voltage sources, 42 volts and then 35 volts. And then we have three resistors connected in the circuit. We have the 12 ohms, 3 ohms, and the 6 ohms. Now we are going to find VTH, RTH, and the current flowing through the 3 ohms resistor. Now to solve this circuit using Thevenin's theorem, the first thing we need to do is to remove the resistor we want to find the current flowing through. And then we mark the terminals and then find VTH. So let's do that together. So we have the voltage source that is 42 volts. We have this resistor to be 12 ohms. We have this to be 6 ohms. And then we are going to remove the 3 ohms resistor. We mark the terminals AB. We have the 35 volts source. And then we complete the circuit. So we call this VTH, that is the open circuit voltage seen between the two terminals. So at this point, we are going to distribute current in the circuit 
and then we move on to find the value of VTH. So for this circuit, we have two loops. Let's call this loop 1 and then loop 2. Now this 42 volt drives current this way in the clockwise direction. That is considering the conventional flow of current. Now let's call this current I. So the current I produced by the 42 volts is the same current that flows through the 12 ohms resistor and the 6 ohms resistor. Now because we have an open circuit here, no current will flow in this direction. The current that flows through the 12 ohms resistor will flow through the 6 ohms resistor and return to the negative terminal of the voltage source. Therefore, we can find the value of I produced by the 42 volts. Now, since the same current flows through these two resistors, it means that they are connected in series. Therefore, we have I to be equal to V divided by RT. We have the value of V to be 42. So, 42 divided by, we are going to add these two values. 12 plus 6 is 18. And this is equal to 21 over 9. So we have the current I to be 21 over 9 amperes. Now since we have the value of I, we can generate an expression for VTH and find the value of VTH. So to find the value of VTH, we are going to use the second loop. Now let's choose any arbitrary direction for VTH. So we are going to move in the anticlockwise direction. So still considering the second loop and then taking the anticlockwise direction for the 35 voltage source, then we say that 35 plus VTH because VTH is also in the same direction as the 35 volts. They are all directed anticlockwise. So we have 35 plus VTH equals the sum of the voltages dropped across the loop. So we have I times 6, also moving in the anticlockwise direction. So that is equal to 6 times I. Now since we want to find the value of VTH, we are going to transpose 35 to the right hand side. So this becomes 6I minus 35. We know the value of I to be 21 over 9. So that is 6 times 21 over 9 minus 35. 3 goes into 6 2 times. 3 goes into 9 3 times. We have 2 times 21 which is 42. 42 divided by 3 is 14. So we have 14 minus 35 and that is equal to negative 21. Therefore, we have VTH to be negative 21 volts. Next, we are going to find the value of RTH. So let's redraw this circuit, deactivating all the independent sources. Because we have voltage sources, we are going to short circuit them. So the circuit becomes, so we have the 42 volts being short circuited. We have this to be the 12 ohms resistor, the 6 ohms resistor. We have the terminal AB. The 35 volts is also short circuited. And then we want to find the value of RTH. That is the equivalent resistance seen between the two terminals. Now we said in the previous lessons that when you go through a loop without passing through any other circuit element except two resistors, then it means that the two resistors are connected in parallel. So we see this case here where we go through this loop without passing through any other circuit element except these two resistors. Therefore, we say that these two resistors are connected in parallel. Therefore, RTH is equal to 12 parallel 6 and this is equal to 12 times 6 divided by 12 plus 6. 12 times 6 is 72. 12 plus 6 is 18. So 72 divided by 18 is equal to 4. Therefore, we have RTH to be 4 ohms. Now, since we have the value of VTH and then RTH, let's find the value of the current flowing through the 3 ohms resistor. 
So for the Thevenin's equivalent circuit, we have VTH to be negative 21 volts connected in series with RTH, which was found to be 4 ohms. And then since we want to find the current flowing through the 3 ohms resistor, we are going to connect the 3 ohms resistor between the two terminals. So that is the load resistance 3 ohms. Now VTH is going to drive current CI through the circuit. And if you want to find the current flowing through the load resistor, which is the 3 ohms resistor, that is equal to VTH divided by RTH plus RL. Now the reason why we are going to add these two resistor values is that these two resistors are connected in series. Now we have VTH to be negative 21 divided by RTH4 plus RL3. This becomes negative 21 divided by 7. Therefore, we say that the current flowing through the 3 ohms resistor is equal to negative 3 amperes. Now let's take the next example. Now for the previous example, we had two voltage sources. In this example, we have one voltage source and one current source. Now let's find the current flowing through the 4 ohms resistor using Thevenin's theorem. Now the first thing we need to do is to remove the 4 ohms resistor, that is the resistor we want to find the current flowing through, mark the terminals and find VTH. So let's do that. So after drawing this circuit, let's consider this particular loop. Now for this loop, we have an independent current source. Now what this is going to do is, this independent current source is to flow in the anticlockwise direction, circulating in this loop over and over. So we have the two amperes currents flowing through the 5 ohms resistor in the anticlockwise direction. Now let's move ahead and consider this particular loop. So for this loop, this 24 volt source is going to drive current in the anticlockwise direction through this loop. So considering the conventional flow of current, we have current moving in this direction, that is the anticlockwise direction, through these three resistors and then returning to the negative terminal of this voltage source. Now let's call the current driven by this voltage source to be I. So what this primarily means is that we have I flowing through the 10 ohms resistor, the 5 ohms resistor, and at this point, the total current that flows through the 5 ohms resistor is the value of I minus the 2 amperes current flowing through the 5 ohms resistor in the anticlockwise direction. So the total current flowing through the 5 ohms resistor is I minus 2. Now we have no current flowing through this branch because this is an open circuit. So all the current would like to flow through this direction and then return to the negative terminal of the voltage source. At this point, we can find the value of I. So considering this loop, we have the voltage source, which is 20 volts, equals the sum of the voltages dropped across the loop. So we have 10 times I. plus 5 times i and then here we have 5 times into bracket i minus 2 so that is plus 5 into bracket i minus 2 so let's move on as we want to find the value of i so we have 20 equals 15 i 
plus we distribute 5 across we have 5i minus 10 so we add these two and then we have 20i and then we transpose negative 10 to the left hand side this becomes 30 and then we divide through by 20 and then we have the value of i to be equal to 3 over 2 which is 1.5 amperes so this is the value of i the current driven by the 20 volts source now from this we can find the value of vth so we can look through the terminal along this direction we can also view it from that direction whichever position you stand you are going to arrive at the same answer so let's consider this particular loop so we have vth equals 5 times i because we have i flowing through this 5 ohms resistor so that is 5i and then we are moving in the anticlockwise direction this is also in the anticlockwise direction so it remains addition so plus 5 times i minus 2 so let's simplify so we have 5i plus 5i minus 10 5i plus 5i is 10i so we have 10 and then we found the value of i to be 1.5 therefore we have 10 times 1.5 minus 10 and this is equal to 15 minus 10 and we have the value of vth to be 5 volts therefore vth is equal to 5 volts now let's find the value of rth so from this circuit we are going to replace the current source with an open circuit and then short circuit the voltage source. So this becomes, we have the 5 ohms resistor. We have also this 5 ohms resistor. And we have this to be the terminal AB. We have this 10 ohms resistor and then we short circuit the voltage source. So we have 10, 5, and then 5. Now, assuming that we have a voltage source here, then at this point, we have the current going to divide. So we have part of the current flowing through this direction, and then the other part also flowing through that direction. Now, the current that flows through this 5 ohms resistor will be the same current that flows through this 5 ohms resistor, which clearly means that these two resistors are connected in series. And their combination is connected in parallel with this 10 ohms resistor. Therefore, we have RTH to be equal to 5 plus 5. That is for the two series resistors in parallel with the 10 ohms resistor. So this becomes 10 parallel 10. And when two resistors of the same value are parallel to each other, then the resultant is half their value. So 10 parallel 10 is equal to 5. So we have RTH to be equal to 5. If you have 10 times 10 divided by 10 plus 10, 10 times 10 is 100 divided by 20 is 5. So we have RTH to be 5. Now let's find the value of the current flowing through the 4 ohms resistor. So assuming we have this to be our Thevenin's equivalent circuit, we have this to be VTH which is 5 volts we have RTH which is also 5 ohms and then we have the load resistor which is 4 ohms connected in series with RTH so to find the value of the current flowing through the 4 ohms resistor we have I4 ohms is equal to VTH which is 5 divided by RTH plus RL so that is 5 over 9 amperes now 5 over 9 is equal to 0 0.556 amperes so this is the current that flows through the 4 ohms resistor